So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on working on Code Ponder and streaming it. I'm gonna be starting today at 6 p.m. Central Time streaming on Twitch. And my plan for that is, we'll see how it goes, is I'll stream at that time every day um, and pretty much until the completion of the project, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so that's that. And what I want to kind of do in this video is go through what we have the design so far and some thoughts I have on it. So, so far, Vlad has been working on it. He's done a great job. Right here we have it in Figma. And if you'd like to collaborate on this with us, you can, you just go to the Code Ponder repo and let us know in the mock-up issue and we can give you access. So right here is what we're looking at, is just the preview of Figma and here's the designs that we have so far. So here's kind of the home screen where we can see all the uh, cards which are like code uh, reviews. And then when you click on those, um, well, I'm not sure if it would go directly to the screen yet. That's something I'm still trying to decide with the flow of the entire app. But we're gonna have another screen where basically we now have a way to access code um, and be able to go through the directories kind of like how GitHub works. So of course we're gonna have some of the standard stuff, description, title, tags. Um, and then some cool things that I like is we're gonna be adding questions to the code. And so you can kind of see where the questions are uh, coming from. So we have two questions in package.json and three in source, which I like uh, that method. Now the other question I have is we're kind of following the GitHub layout here. Should we go ahead and do that, um, this method, or should we do the Octotree approach? So that's a popular extension that I see people use and that I've used myself. I go back and forth depending on which one I like better. Uh, so I'm curious what you guys think, if we should go for the Octotree approach or this tree. If you haven't seen the Octotree, it's kind of like uh, nested and you can just click on it without changing pages. Uh, but that's this page. The next one is when you click on a single file. And so here we have all the code, uh, and then we have it broken out into basically code snippets. And I like how we highlight some pieces, and then we have the code down here, or not the code, but the question that's associated to it. So one question I had is, should we go ahead and like move these side by side? So you can see the code snippet here, and then the question going along with it here. Uh, or should it be kind of like in line or is it better to keep it down here? One thing I had is let's say this file has a ton of questions uh, It could get quite long so it could be nice to have them side by side because you may want to read the question and view the code kind of uh, in conjunction uh, The other thing is so I'm thinking how this is gonna work is like you highlight code um, to Like that to actually create this right? I'm thinking of how, like how the UI would work. It's like I guess I would copy this and then I have like a button up here that I click on and that would then create this and I could come down here and type in my question. And so what I'm, I actually don't know if there's like an API where I can get what the user has selected, like what text they have selected, or at least like get the lines they have selected somehow. So that's gonna be interesting to try to code um, and see if there's a way to do that. Cause I know in GitHub, they just have like little pluses that you click on, but what you wanna do is do multiple lines of code. Uh, the other thing is uh, each one of these questions is I think we want to turn into a comment thread. And so a question around that is should we do a Reddit style or should we do a GitHub style? So Reddit style questions, you have nested comments. Each comment you can reply to that person or reply to the parent questions kind of gets nested down. Whereas GitHub, you have a single linear comments and then you pretty much just at people to let them know you're talking to them. Uh, the GitHub one would be definitely easier to code. I'm not sure if the Reddit one is more useful. Curious what you guys think. Uh, I guess I'm leaning towards, I'm not sure which one I actually like better for code reviews and like looking at this sort of thing. I'm not sure how nested it's going to get. And uh, I like the simplicity of not having to code comment threads, but other than that, it may be better functionality wise to do Reddit style. That was one other thing. Oh, here's how I'm thinking about this working. So before I was thinking like one-on-one -on -one code reviews, but at least with the free free code reviews, what I'm thinking is me as the creator of this code review, I then allow anyone to come in and add comments and answer questions. So it kind of has a stack overflow kind of feel to it, where basically people are gonna could be able to come in and answer questions uh, to the code. Uh, the other thing is should we add kind of like people's usernames 
in their profiles to the comments and then also in the threads so we can see who it's happening who's commenting and whatnot i think uh we should add uh this is the screen that i made so the rest of those vlad made this is the screen i made this definitely needs to be reworked but this is kind of like i'm thinking we need a page like this so what we saw before is we have the code there could be flags all over the place or questions all over the place I wanted a screen where we can kind of like see all the questions uh, and the kind of like a briefing or an overview page. And then I can quickly, so I can see like the different code snippets and I can see the questions and then I can actually like click on this and it'll take me to where this came from if I wanted more context or I could just like answer it here. Um, so some page like this for me, I can see all the different questions and I'm not sure if it makes sense to have it something where I scroll down or maybe something that I go like, page through or something um, and then the other thing is I think it may we might want to add a place also where we have like overarching questions or overarching uh, code responses or not code responses but like assessments of the project because maybe I want to uh, give you feedback on your project that's not related to a line of code um, so that's that's maybe something to add um, and then the other thing, the pretty much the last thing that I thought of is uh, when looking at this is being able to make stuff collapsible. I'm not sure if adding it here makes sense, but like being able, I guess, to collapse the code windows maybe. Um, I'm not sure if that would be useful. That's definitely something we could add later as kind of a nice little feature on top uh, to make it easier to read sometimes. But I'm not sure if it makes sense to like just collapse these things or collapse the entire thing. Or if I wanted to like collapse stuff on this screen, um, I guess we'd have to have more of this stuff built to see. Anyway, that's where the layout is at. I'm gonna go ahead and like, there's gonna be some code that we're gonna have to set up before we even get to this stuff anyway. So get started on working on that.